What's up, guy and girl players of World of Warcraft? This is Rutaro, aka Taro, bringing you this week's WoW Report, episode 25, Sunday, October 10th. For more free guides, check out my website at tarowowguides.com. In this Taro Weekly WoW Report, I'll cover some in-game changes, the upcoming 4.0.1 patch, and Cataclysm Beta Updates editions, as well as a Q&A session, so let's get started. In Wrath news, Brewfest ended this past week and I hope all of you got your mounts. We won't be seeing another holiday event until October 18th when Hallow's End begins. Definitely a favorite holiday of mine and after who knows how long, I'll be looking to get the Headless Horseman mount. Also in Wrath news, the auction house is seeing some good increases in pricing for gathering professions. This is great news for gatherers, but bad news to anyone trying to level a profession. It mostly looks like the biggest increases are happening to high level herbs. Checking out PTR news, it's looking like we should get patch 4.0.1 launched on live pretty soon and even as soon as this Tuesday or next. It'll include tons of new systems, UI changes, new specializations and talents, game changes, emblem badge conversions, gear updates, stat updates, cleaner UI panes, new glyph system, and many other things. This 4.0.1 patch will be huge and ultimately redo most of the game in an effort to lay out all the framework for the new Cataclysm expansion releasing December 7th. A little bit after that and before Cataclysm is launched, patch 4.0.3 will be released creating chaos throughout Azeroth bringing cataclysmic changes to the world of Warcraft as we know it. Both of these patches should be exciting for all levels and styles of players as it offers a lot of great groundwork and world changes that will make World of Warcraft an even better game than it already is. Moving on to Cataclysm news, some new screenshots were released of some different zones and new instances this past week and they all look very good as usual, but the one that really sticks out is this submarine looking one. It looks insanely amazing and as I said last week, I'm a big fan of the underwater aspect of Cataclysm and it should be pretty neat. A new archaeology article has also been released that gives a general overview of the new secondary profession and should be a good read for anyone wanting to get some overall info about archaeology. In other Cataclysm news and quite possibly the biggest this past week, Blizzard officially announced Cataclysm's release as December 7th. Looks like we'll have the next 7 weeks or so to enjoy the rest of Wrath and take part in some very cool events that will lead up to the December 7th release of Cataclysm. Keep in mind, tons of details, numbers, and items are still being figured out and anything can change before the final Cataclysm expansion ships. Moving on to Blizzard news, World of Warcraft has officially reached 12 million players which is a huge success for the company and shows just how popular this game really is. I'd expect an even greater increase with the release of Cataclysm. Also in Blizzard news, there is finally a feature added to Real ID that sets your name to private for your friends' friends. Unchecking these two options will no longer show your name to friends or suggest you as a friend to your friends' friends. This is great for anyone worried about privacy. As with every week's report, I will have tons of links and screenshots of everything on my website's blog for this week's WoW Report. Finally, I'd like to end this Tarot Weekly WoW Report answering a few questions you guys and girls have asked me over the last week. Will there be a lot of new pets in Cataclysm? Yes, tons. I have already shown quite a few pets and mounts in the past weekly reports and here are some more that can be obtained through professions, quests, and drops. Tell me which one you want the most in the comment section. I'm gonna go with this personal world destroyer, Mini Fell Reaver. Good luck to everyone trying to obtain these pets. Do you have a life? This is one of the most common troll questions I get asked, and sorry to disappoint those trolls, but yes, I have a very awesome life and thanks for asking. I have a wife, two awesome kids, and another kid or twins on the way. I also have a pretty fun job, which is why you may not see me online 24-7. Will you still make videos in Cataclysm? I'm still getting asked this question a lot, and although I've already answered it, I'd like to be a bit more detailed about what my plans are for Cataclysm. In Wrath, I started making videos very late on and will have the chance in Cataclysm to be the first out with everything you can imagine from profession leveling 1 to 525, gold making, PvE, PvP, all classes, and many many more guides. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel Rutaro aka Taro and my website tarowowguides.com to make sure you have the latest up to date guides. Finally here are the videos I've released this past week or so that you should definitely check out. Click the videos to watch them and make sure you check out the 500,000 gold cap times 2 one. It's my newest creation and I'll have a horde version coming in a few weeks. 
Well, that's it for this week of Tara's Weekly WoW Report, and I hope you liked it. Stay on top of the news, economy, and updates of WoW with Tara's Weekly WoW Report, released every Sunday. Please subscribe and visit tarawowguides.com for more free WoW guides and news. Thanks for watching. Now go! Tell me what you think of anything featured in this week's Tara's Weekly WoW Report in the comments section below. Personally, I think I'm going to have some fun collecting all those new pets.